volunteer him it's a um, waka where you may give him as part of the contribution through this uh, multi sporting event where by him take place so within the um, planning long GOC we have planned for Garam at least uh, 2500 uh, uh, volunteers and they will uh, comprise or say, the largest workforce inside Longo uh, GOC. So there will be, uh, you know, people who will be meeting our athletes, officials and guests that by coming, uh, mostly as what arrive and also by what I walk along with the Mogata Longo during the uh, sporting events. Uh, sporting events, me, uh, time block game, uh, medal presentation and also within the venues place bucket sleep water stop inside look at uh, transport uh, the bus bucket taking water go and uh, other aspects of the game so they will be the awesome heart and soul belong our game in a way and uh, they also showcase uh, the importance of the uh, game uh, Loyimi as a country, Solomon Islands. So they are uh, uh, one of the important groups inside Longo, this for the CP Games. We basically have within our functional area um, a volunteer program, yeah? Um, and that's soon to be released um, on our website as well as have it as a um, hard copy. Um, so within that uh, volunteer program, um, we are looking at um, providing support yeah providing support to the games um, and we also will look at managing how our volunteers provide that support um, to the games so um, with saying that it's like the volunteers are very important yeah because without the volunteers basically these games will you know will not run so we we we, we need those volunteers on board we need you to become a volunteer and when you do come and volunteer with us um, we do have a plan for managing all volunteers. They are part of a very structured and uh, organized uh, uh, way. Uh, they are not uh, just here to f fill in the gap. You know, they're part of the structure of uh, how we organize and how we present and how we conduct the games. So with this uh, structured way of um, uh, supporting and working with volunteers, uh, you know, we look at the benefits and the benefits is uh, a lot of skills and a lot of knowledge that they'll be coming and uh, exposed to and they will learn. So, um, you know, it, it's well connected with the events and well connected with the structure of the organization. So this is an opportunity that uh, we want uh, volunteers to, you know, make use of it. With the arrangement of activities and trainings, uh, you will connect with the activities that may be new to you, so you learn new skills. You'll be talking with people who have uh, experience already, so you learn from the experience. And you also learn from the mega activities, the major activities that are taking place, you will be there. And uh, you will be inspired as well, you know. Um, one of the biggest um, things that or sort of the legacy part of the volunteer program is to get the volunteers to go through a training program, yeah? Uh, training program will be done by our workforce services team, um, and that will be to provide training, um, basically in the areas of first aid, um, emergency fire evacuation plans. Um, we will also have um, occupational health and safety awareness training, yeah? So that's part of um, what we will offer to our volunteers when they come on board. If I try for focus no more on what the long-term benefits um, that you will get out from volunteering. Yeah. So some of the benefits that we will give you if you come on and join us on our volunteering program is that um, the main one would be to gain the experience. Yeah. Um, this Allah event, yeah, um, as you know, we know um, currently hand big fella event, and so. It will bring a lot of experience, will bring a lot of events to it, a lot of um, <clears throat> new things that we will learn. Um, and so volunteering him one follow away for you may learn in that, in that aspect now and learn so that 
we can use these things for later on in our um, sort of in our daily work in our lives later on so we are pushing for very much in the volunteering pro program to gain as much experience as you can if you come on board to volunteer uh, people who will be uh, doing voluntary work now will learn skills on how to organize games at different levels like you mean Savagare Mota uh, different uh, sporting events from community, Kamlo schools and other leaders of other organizing other sporting here. So if you know how to uh, work with the volunteer team now, you can uh, also use those same skills in organizing uh, local sporting events. Uh, soccer, for instance, in the village or here in town and that goes to other sporting events. It's an opportunity for the uh, young uh, generation to learn at this time and then to uh, apply those uh, voluntary skills and knowledge in the rural communities, uh, especially during the um, uh, sporting events in the villages. I know that the quality belong sporting Los Solomon Islands is growing and a lot of young people are interested to get involved in these uh, sporting events. Uh, we stand to benefit more, especially with regard to local um, sporting events now and in the future. Uh, adding on to what I said previously, um, uh, our volunteers will not be paid. Um, we do not have any allowances for them, um, but um, it is confident to say that, you know, if this is something that's a national event, um, and we as Solomon Islands are hosting it for the very first time, um, it is something that we should be proud of. Um, it will be a, a proud moment to put on a uniform um, that represents the Solomon Islands. Um, and, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, it's, you've got to be patriotic about it um, when you come and volunteer um, because you will be the um, sort of the front line um, you as a volunteer will be there to meet new people. You will be the face of Solomon Island. So it's, um, it's more of a patriotic um, sort of um, uh, thing for, for volunteering. Um, and that has been sort of the legacy with um, what the past Pacific Games blew me um, that were held um, in different regions and different countries around the Pacific region. Um, that same legacy um, we will have here in Solomon Islands, yeah? Um, so we know that um, obviously we will not get paid um, as volunteers, um, but apart from that, um, legacy for volunteering is beyond um, you know, any form of payment, any form of allowance. We're really encouraging um, our local people uh, the people of Solomon Islands. This is an uh, event that we should all be proud of. Um, this is our time to shine. Um, it's our country. We are hosting it. Let's be proud of it. Um, let's come on board. Let's show the Pacific region that yes, we are able, we are capable. We are capable of providing a service just as how the previous games were delivered. We can also do it too. And um, I would encourage everyone else to um, not be sort of, um, um, don't look at this as an, uh, you know, um, something that you might, it might fade away from you. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, whether you are young, whether you are unemployed, or you are seeking some form of experience, or, you know, it's all open to everyone. So um, I guess in that sense, you know, it's something that um, is open to the market. Um, and um, we welcome everyone to apply for uh, volunteering um, within the games. Yeah.